having a couple technical difficulties here with that, I believe. Um, it's over to a stop sign on that, but uh, <clears throat> at any rate, hopefully you're, okay, there we go, there we go. All right, so once again, my name is Eric Miller. Uh, today you've, uh, and thank you for joining the Vault Professional webcast today. Uh, it'll take about a half them and show some of the functions. Uh, so it is, you are in listen only mode right now, so uh, if, if you do have questions, feel free to put those into the, the webinar screen over in the, uh, the dashboard that kind of pops out for the webinar. There should be a section for questions. I'll try to check those at the end and answer any questions if we get time. And obviously, uh, you know, you feel free to contact me directly. I'll show a slide at the end here that has my contact information. If, you know, if you're interested in seeing more of a, a customized demo for your company, we can certainly line that up later too. But <clears throat> and, and I guess uh, just a little back, background on applied engineering. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we're an engineering and IT services company, uh, but also an Autodesk reseller. So, um, it, it, you know, those that are attending may already be customers of ours or maybe your uh, potential customers. But uh, we provide Autodesk software more on the manufacturing product design side. So uh, Vault is obviously a tool built for data management, but it's Autodesk's kind of primary tool for managing CAD data. Uh, there's some other data management tools out there for Autodesk. You may have heard of Fusion Lifecycle, formerly known as uh, PLM360, and that's more of a kind of a, a company-wide uh, information, project management, communication tool. Uh, it also manages bill of materials and changes, but it doesn't actually do check-ins, checks, checkouts of your CAD data. So that's more the the vault uh, side of it, so which we'll be talking about today. Um, so and, and also, you know, outside of like I mentioned, the Autodesk reselling, uh, <clears throat> you know, we provide support, training, uh, you know, implementation stuff like that. We can help your company with. Uh, but on the engineering side, we've got about 70 engineers that do uh, work either on site, off site, at our location, your location, uh, on different projects, whether it be short term, long term, and the same on the IT services side. We've got uh, probably. I think around 15 uh, application developers right now that uh, work on either customizing, uh, you know, software for your company or, or, you know, whatever other IT needs you have. So, so that's a little bit about Applied. Um, feel free to go out to our website too. I'll, I'll show that here at the end if you want to check. I'll learn anything more about that. But obviously you joined today to learn more about Vault. So let's go ahead and get into that. Uh, just minimize the webinar screen. Okay. So. As far as uh, Jennifer today, you know, some, some functions that I'd like to highlight uh, that are, are obviously uh, useful in a, in a data management environment, you know, the ability to search for the different files, and I'll highlight that. Uh, we'll talk about the copy design function to be able to reuse existing designs and do all that right within Vault instead of having to go into Inventor, do a save a copy and replace files, that kind of stuff. There's a nice built-in uh, uh, kind of a wizard, I guess, screen you might say, but uh, in the copy design uh, function within Vault is uh, a lot of uh, powerful tools there to kind of speed up if you've got similar designs. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of companies build products, maybe different sizes of the same model. You know, that's that's really what the copy design is uh, really useful for. If you need to just make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever it is, you've already got a lot of the design completed with the previous design. We can take that and then uh, you know, kind of hit the ground running with the with the next design. Obviously, the integration with CAD tools will focus mostly on Inventor today, but um, there are integrations with AutoCAD, with Revit, with all kinds of other Autodesk products. Um, you know, AutoCAD Civil 3D. Um, so whatever you use, typically, if it's an Autodesk product, it's it's integratable. Um, and there's a nice built-in tab within the uh, interface on the Inventor side. We'll show that. Um, and obviously, you want to be able to work you know, within your CAD tool, not have to bounce back and forth between a bunch of different systems. So that's kind of the idea. You can, you know, one in doubt, right click, and you can do your check-ins, checkouts, all that stuff right within Inventor. Now, I did mention you maybe saw, if you signed up through the uh, through our newsletter, you probably saw in in some of the uh, details regarding this webcast that it involved the CAD integration of non Autodesk software as well. So. Um, I won't be, unfortunately, be able to show that section today. I, I recently had to install everything kind of on a reformatted computer. So I don't, haven't had a chance to put those add-ins in yet, 
but there are add-ins out there for SolidWorks, for Creo. Um, so if you're a company that either uses multiple CAD tools um, or even we've got customers that just use Creo and you know using some of the other you know obviously there's Windchill you may have heard out there for Creo is their data management system can be a little bit more expensive uh, can be harder to implement you know Vault is a, a fairly easy easy implementation and the interface is really easy to use so uh, we've got customers that have you know just chosen to go or chose to go with this product uh, as opposed to the native uh, data management system so just know that if you have more questions on that I can certainly develop uh, you know a, de a demonstration for those tools uh, you know more on a one-on-one -on -one basis if you'd like so but that's you know kind of ties into the CAD integration now with you know there are different versions uh, of vault there's vault basic that comes with your product design suite there's vault workgroup that has a few extra features and we're looking at vault professional they all look pretty much the same but one of the differences is the ability to uh, process changes using an ECO system that's built into Vault Professional. So you do need to go up to the Vault Pro level to get that, uh, and that's that's kind of an uh, you know an electronic ECO form filling out kind of your background. We'll, we'll touch on that a little bit today too, and then it allows for automatic routings to whoever needs to sign off on things in the in the review process, um, and then also email notifications. So you know, no more printing out these long, you know, documents and printing out all the drawings. They can access all that right within Vault using that ECO tool. So that can be kind of handy. Another uh, function within Vault Professional is the thin client. Now, obviously, with Vault Basic, it comes with your your product design suite. There's no extra charge for that. Vault Vault Professional, there is a a, a license fee for that, but it it's floating licenses, so. You know, anybody can use it depending on you know how many heavy users you've got. You might you might need a license for each of those people. Now there's subscription licenses, so you can just kind of pay on an annual basis. Um, so that's kind of a nice option. Uh, but when I talk about the thin client, that's actually the uh, just using a web browser. Anybody in your company can then access the the live Vault data. You're not making copies of it anymore. You're not sending you know PDFs out to uh, uh, you know a Windows folder. Uh, out on your network drive, as soon as you create that copy, you know it could be out of date almost. So uh, those things are always hard to keep up to date. But in this case, uh, we can look right into the vault through a web browser. Anybody in the company, you can give them view access to it. So it's you know read only pretty much, but at least they can see the you know check out the drawing, you know move an assembly around using Design Review, which is another free tool, and that doesn't take a license. So, you know, obviously you can purchase just one license of all pro and then anybody in the company can use the thin client to access the drawings. So that's always nice for like people in sales, you know, marketing, service, and even you know, obviously on the shop floor, they need need to be able to go grab a drawing, they can go do that just from the thin client. And then we'll touch on a little bit too on just some of the background stuff backing up your vault. Um, I know a lot of companies now obviously have you know their servers all backed up either through you know uh, some type of tape drive or now there's more imaging uh, kind of tools available through you know whether it's virtual machines uh, taking snapshots and stuff like that but it is still always a good idea to back up you know your vault through the uh, the built-in backup that's with you know right within the vault ADMS which is the Autodesk data management server console so that's that's really uh, that's a more robust way to get back up and running even quicker. You know, sometimes those snapshots, if there was say a SQL issue that happened overnight, you know, maybe before the snapshot got created, or you know, kind of rebuilding that can take some time. You know, the Vault backup is uh, takes the SQL database, puts it right in the backup, as well as all your entire file store. You can install it on a completely different machine and then just restore that backup, and you're off and running. So that's it's uh, I always recommend doing that with our customers. Okay. So let's jump into the live system here. Uh, we're going to jump over into Vault. So this is the interface that you see. Um, if you haven't seen Vault yet, it's uh, the one of the things that I like about it is you're not bouncing around between a lot of different screens. You know, you're going to have a, a pop-up window every now and then for the kind of the copy design and some of those other functions. But you know, everything you see is kind of right here on this main uh, main area of of the interface. So over on the left, just to kind of those environment. So you can you know with that, and then underneath designs is really where all your projects are stored. So this might be project based, product based, depending on your company. 
but this is really where all your files that you're working on, that you're checking in, checking out are stored. You might have a separate section for documents or common, common parts, stuff like that. And then under libraries, these are more of the read-only uh, common things, bushings, you know, uh, uh, not necessarily nuts and bolts, but maybe uh, maybe fittings to be read-only to your, all right, below. Uh, then you see the preview window down below, so we can see the history of this one, but also, uh, in this case, my handle assembly has two components underneath it. So the nice thing about Vault, it maintains all those relationships. I can move these files around in a different floor environment wouldn't do if that's if that's how you're managing your data today. Um, if we look at the where use the parents above it, we can click on that to see. Okay, so that and that's the visualiza visualization file that normally people would see when using the thin client. So um, these other couple items here, you got CAD bomb and data sheet. These are vault right now called data stand uh, items that are properties that maybe we're more concerned about particular file. So the user defined ones are on the bottom, and the uh, kind of the first stuff. Uh, there's a find tool. If we, you know, there's a couple different ways to search for things. We've got the option here, top window on the right, that'll search within the folder, and you can do a basic search. Uh, we can also go to, let's see me, uh, where's my find? Sometimes these add-ins, the data standard add-in tries to make it a little more uh, kind of locked in. I wonder that might be underneath the tools, is it? There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to, so that's the more expanded search. Search based on any of these products. I don't have a ton of data in here. This is kind of my demo machine. But maybe that's more than really what I want to <clears throat> lop it and go the uh, name has clamp in it. We'll go clamp and then put an asterisk after that for a while. And, and now we're just down to two of them. <coughs> if I scroll over here, I can see some of the, you know, here's my path. And this is a designed clamp folder. So we can grab that and hit go to folder. I, so let's just do that right now. We're going to get, if I want to check out everything, I'll undo the checkouts here. If I want to have it, you know, underneath it, we can, we can control that. Say I want to check, those are the two things I'm going to, Load the children. We can download the comment during this from my local machine. I also want to see where this one starts. I can just go to folder. Now in the background, it should have selected that. It tells me that now it's checked out. And it, let me just double click on that uh, into Inventor. So let me do the uh, another thing to point out is let's just update properties there. And the uh, so so you've got a vault tab that kind of comes with Inventor now. All of the, you know, revisions, that gets a little more into the you know, advanced stuff, I guess, within uh, control. Alt tab over here. So if I'm going to start modifying this, typically I'm going to work in the model tab. But I, I really like, okay, what have I changed? Let's say we're kind of going to be short on time symbol. Let's just start, a, we'll just put a plane in here uh, just to kind of add something. Say maybe I'm using that for a reference or something like that. We can do, let's save that. So the green circle tells me that I've saved it. Now what I have on my local is newer. And really what's happening in the background here is this is where my files just got downloaded versus checking something in. That's when the files are actually turning, uh, getting it initially downloading. Okay, so we modify that. Let's go ahead and modify a part as well, open the grip up. Let's say maybe we found that the, this was a little bit tight, so we want to, you know, it's going to force you to enter in some of that stuff. And then you have the option to enter in other properties as well that maybe haven't been populated yet. So, it's a nice way to save it. These are the fields that I, that we, our company feels on that. And then if I go back, select, did modify the, the grip, so it's going to want to save that. Now it's saying they're going to check. This is our last check-in, so we can close files and delete. Okay, uh, grip. So it's almost like a little mini ECO note there on why we changed it, what we changed. Uh, let's see. To open so my local copy will just mean that now my local matches my uh, copy all and refresh now, now we've got the latest version the whole size is pretty small but those in uh, version two, I guess there's a couple more tools to look at first one pretty much ready to go but we also have another clamp that we're just going to modify maybe lengthen these out a little bit more to have a, a wider uh, grip range so we can take this clamp and do a copy design on it just in the right click menu that pops open the copy design wizard creating a new uh, we can we can uh, what these new files are named and by default here it just adds a copy of as a prefix 
to the base name. So you know, I'll just leave it as the default for now. And I'll save that. And, and here we can reuse some of the other components. Or if you right click in there, we can replace it. Maybe like with some hardware. Maybe we have just a little bit bigger pin for the larger size of this. So we can replace that right on uh, if our file is already out there in Vault. Or exclude it if we don't want it. Let's go ahead and hit OK on that. So in the background, other components. And there's my new copy of Clamp. If we look at the uses, we'll see you know, what other things it's, you, you know, uh, go up. Actually, just from the right-click menu here, too, we can go right-click, add to change order, and go new. And it starts this new ECO sheet. 27 line. All the files that I added to it are, are now added as a record and as a file. So as this goes through the review process, you know, the, uh, I guess that one doesn't have it because it, it needs to be generated, but you can just come right into the ECO, a uh, different stage, and then when it's approved, the open stage routings in this case, I just have as the approved change for new product line. Okay, so we hit OK on that. At that point, then the next person in the routing chain gets an email and their store either reject that one files part of this ECO, um, and then obviously too, when you know on the file side, uh, if we go to the file, let's see if it'll yeah go to folder behind change order, then should be listed here, and we'd see all the buddy. You can have a notification use. All right, so that's the ECO tool. Last thing I kind of wanted to uh, the thin client. So this is just a web browser. In fact, maybe it'd be best just to start an Internet Explorer window. And this works with uh, URL is just the HTTP colon. It's, it's an easy tool to use. And then everybody gets access to the to the actual live data. So I'm going to log in here. Now Project Explorer. I also have the Item Master. Well, we can talk about maybe a real side of Vault where you can manage your bill of materials and then export, import to your ERP system. Um, so that's I kind of gets into a whole other section of Vault that we just don't have time to get to today. But then you also have a chance to use the search tools as well in the uh, in the advanced search. But we'll say we're just going to scroll down into my Project Explorer. Here's what we can do. We can preview it, a little bit more information on it. You get a little thumbnail over it. You can scroll down. Not only do I have the assembly, but also the drawing is references the file. So come in handy. And if we want to preview any of these, uh, if they want to maybe print the drawing or mark it up and send it back to engineering, you can click on the preview and just get to it right within Internet Explorer. So this is kind of an online version of design review. We can go in here and uh, make some markups, maybe uh, you know, ask, is this, um, is this hole big enough, question mark. Let's, we can do some measuring in here. And the nice thing about you know, design review versus uh, it's actually 18.796 millimeters across. So um, if a dimension is missing, your shop can get to it right away instead of, you know, obviously on a PDF, the measurement there is, is not scaled like it is here. That's not a, it wouldn't be a live dimension. Um, and there are some other nice things on the, if I go back to Vault, we'll just exploding these out. Um, and, or even do cross like. Uh, so data management server console. That typically is going to be on your server side. I, on this demo machine, I've kind of got everything on one, but it's another application able to, you know, do certain things like purging. You know, after a while, you might get tons of sheep these days, but certain, you know, older than a certain date, or maybe they're not released versions. You know, you can delete some of those sort of interim versions if they haven't been sent out to production. You also get kind of a heads up of how many files, how many, you know, the total size of your database and file store. But the one thing I wanted to highlight is just the, the scheduled backup. So under tools, administration, we can say, okay, we want to send this file. We we'd create that. Um, we got to actually create one in here. Down in the bottom, basically we're going to be, we want it to log in as admin. Password's blank in this case. But down at the bottom is really where the, the backup, you can schedule it at a specific time. So if I want it to start tonight at 11 p.m., uh, we can validate files. You can back up your content center files. Uh, but maybe your, if your database is for, you know, fairly large, maybe we just want to back it up on Monday and Friday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we can just do incremental backups. So if you go over here to create an incremental on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those are going to be a lot smaller, not take quite as long, uh, the two options there for backups. And when you hit OK, batch file, that'll just run the night. Um, so that, that happens to your server. You always want to have good backups. We definitely backups. You know, anything can happen on a server, so you never want to see that where they maybe lose a month or 
and we had one that lost uh, six months worth of engineering data and at, um, if you set up the appropriate uh, processes for backup. So keep that in mind uh, with that. I know I went a little bit past 1130 here, but I'll just go back and check if there are any questions. Feel free to submit those now right here. So um, I'll just wait a minute there for that. If, if there aren't any questions, thanks for attending. Uh, if you have uh, further questions after or if you want to you know, email, email address is there, emailer at go-apply.com. Uh, you can find out all about our company out at go-apply.com. Uh, all the upcoming training that we've got uh, available, stuff for Inventor, AutoCAD, AutoCAD Electrical, you know, and everything, uh, all the sub-courses underneath those, as well as a few other things as well. So um, feel free to, to check that out. And uh, with that, I guess I'll not see any questions. So thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you at the next webcast.